Hello everyone, we will continue that topic, string comparison operator, and we will continue the string comparison operator CP. CP stands for contains pattern, and during covering this contains pattern, firstly we used star, then we used hash, and now we will go for plus. Now what is the meaning of plus? Plus is used to match any single character. Any single character we can match with the help of plus. When you put star at that time, we can match any sequence of characters. But with the help of plus, you can match only a single character. We will do the practical and we will understand the meaning of plus. Suppose... I am declaring a variable data, suppose lv underscore string 1, suppose length is 5. I am saying type C, suppose I am saying value A, B, C, D, E. Now I will go for second variable lv underscore string 2, suppose length is 5. Type C value. Suppose I am writing A, B. I am writing A, B. Now I am writing plus. Now I am writing D, E. So this is our first string variable. This is our second variable of type character. Of type character and length is 5. Now just see how this will work. If I am writing lv underscore string 1 contains pattern lv underscore string 2. I will just copy paste. lv underscore string 1 contains the pattern lv underscore string 2. So see how it will work. String 1 is containing the pattern of string 2 or not. Answer is yes. How? We have A, we have A. We have B, we have B. Now, here we have C, but here we have put plus. So, what is the meaning of plus? Plus can match any single character. Yes, we have C, but SAP will see. You have put, you have, you have, you have put plus into the second string. So, SAP will consider that it can be any character. So, this plus is used to match any single character. Then we have D and then we have E. So this is how plus work. Whenever you will put plus, SAP will simply think, yes, it can be any character. Yes. So in this case, we will get a true result. If I will show you in the debugging mode. So that's why I'm saying plus is used to match any, any single character. If I will put a breakpoint and show you in that debugging mode, then we will see the false result also. I will go to desktop 3, most preferable desktop. This is first string. This is second string. Is first string containing the pattern of second string? Yes, it is containing because plus is used to match any single character. So yes, here we have plus. So it is matching any, any single character. So we will get a true result. Whenever we will get a true result, it will return the length or offset. It will return the position or offset, sorry, position or offset of the first matching character. And what is the position or offset of first matching character? Is zero. So we got the result zero. Now, suppose if I will go for false result, in which scenario we will go for false result? See, plus is used to match a single character. Suppose if you are going for this, plus is used to match a single character. So this plus will go for this particular C. But after that, nothing, you have not put anything. Is your first string is containing the pattern of second string? 
No, it is not containing. See, this is AB, this is AB. Okay. Now, this plus can go for any, any single character. Then what about DE? So, DE is not there, yes. So, we will get a false result. This is important point. Plus, always, always match any single character. Then what about these two characters? It will not take into consideration and we will get a false result. If we will see the practical, we'll see the in the debugging mode. I will go to desktop three, most preferable desktop. This is our first string. This is our second string. Now, if I will execute, you can see system went to else part. And whenever we have the false result, it will return the length of V1. And what is the length of V1? It is 5. Now, if you want true, if you want, you want a true result, what is one option? You can to put 2 plus here. So this 3 plus, it means 3 matching and it will match any 3 characters. Now, if you do not want to put 2 plus, you can put star. Because star means what? Any, any sequence of character. Now, if I will simply, simply execute. So, it is totally your wish how you want to go. So, now in this case, we will get a true result. A, B, A, B. This plus will match with this particular single character. And star means what? Any sequence of character. Then we have D, E, yes. So, it will go for D, E. If I will execute and show you the result in the debugging mode. I will go to desktop 3. This is our first string. This is our second string. If I will execute, you can see we got a true result. Whenever we will get a true result, it will return the offset or position of the first matching character. And what is this? 0. Now, rather than see, rather than put in view, rather than start, if you want to go for plus, you can go for plus also. In that case, also we will get a true result because plus will go for go for matching any single character. This plus, this plus, this plus, this plus, this plus, this plus. Now, if I will execute and show you in that debugging mode. So, plus matches any single character. Now, if I will go for simply execute, you can see we got a true result. And whenever we got a true result, it will return the offset or position of the first matching character. So, what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we, are, we covered the meaning of plus plus is used to match any single character. Then we did the practical. Firstly, what we did, I put A, B plus D, E. It means plus, this is the first string is containing the pattern of second string. Yes, it is containing because plus means it will match any, any single character. After that, we covered the two fault. We cover, I covered the false result also. I simply, simply put AB plus. This AB will match with this AB. This plus will go for this C. But after that, we do not have anything for DE. So it is not containing the pattern. So we got the false result. Now, after that, if you want the true result, you can put star. Star means any sequence of characters. Yes. Or what is other option? You can put the number of plus whatever is there. So I put three plus at that point of time. Now in the next video, we will go for our last string comparison operator. That is NP. NP stands for contains no pattern. So that's it in this video. Thank you.